Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's devlog, I want to show you that I finally added a new biome, a new world site, and we'll take a look at this one today. So on this world site, we have the hell biome, which basically is just a red ground. And instead of water as a liquid, we have the lava in here. And you can also see some particles which get bursted out of the lava. And I think this is a pretty cool effect and makes it a bit unique. For the resources, you can see there are some dead trees and some kind of stone. The stone model is a different one than that in the grassland. You see it is a bit bigger. We can see the other stone in comparison here. You see it's not that big, but I thought it's a different biome. So we need a different model right here. But as you can imagine, these two resources are way too little so i think it's quite a good idea in this devlog to show you how i add some new resources to the game how i model them and in general how i implement these into the game so back in magic voxel i loaded up the stone object which basically is the foundation for our new idea because i thought it's pretty cool to have some kind of fire quartz on the hell side or the lava side of our cute little planet which basically is a little crystal so we have to add here a new color. I think a dark orange is good for that. And then just paint or add some new blocks. So let's see if we can put something right here. Yeah, looks good. And something right here. It should be here and there. Nothing too crazy because I do not want to have it directly pop in the eye of the player. So I think this is pretty cool right here. Maybe something here. Uh, no, that's too big. Something smaller. Yeah, I think this is the way. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool, but we maybe want to have it a bit darker or a more reddish. Let's see if we can make it a bit... Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So this could be some kind of lava quartz or maybe this is... Or fire quartz or <laughs> however I want to name it. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and maybe this will get an upgrade in terms of design. <laughs> So I'm going to export that and switch back to Unity. So we have our object right here and now I pull that into my scene. I want to unpack this and just use this default game object, which I call Fire Quartz in this case, uh, because it's a pretty cool Fire Quartz. Now I'm going to delete this old parent and give this uh, box collider and I also give him a world object script, which takes a world object data but we first have to add this to our prefab folder right here in the health section and you see the color is there hooray <laughs> so now let's create a new world object data by simply duplicating the stone for example and then i just call that fire quartz and i also have to rename this to fire quartz and give that a max health of 600 this is in hell it's a stone type of course it's not liquid it's not grass it's a kind of stone and for the sprite stone is totally fine um, until we have some proper sprites and the secondary color is of course red the world object we just created we can just search for it is the fire quartz and the id as we duplicated the stone is the same but i just can remove that and that automatically creates a new id this is pretty cool concept i introduced in this project but i think that's too technical so let's Stay simple. We want to have a minimum drop amount of two quads and uh, five as maximum. Now, as we created the world environment object, we can easily put that in here. Pretty cool. But we can also change the probability because I want to have the fire quads spawn probability at I think 25% is pretty cool. And there you go. You can see there is the fire quads and there's the fire quads, there's the fire quads. It looks like it worked pretty well. That's pretty cool. So this is the way I introduce new items or new environment objects to my game within Unity. So in summary, in this devlog, we created a new world biome, the hell biome, which includes a liquid lava sea or rivers with cool particles right here and there. Added a new harvestable quartz. And you can see there are a lot of dead trees and stones you can gather. So thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss any updates, then please hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions, please 
comment down below. Thanks for watching. We see us in the next video. Bye.